The Sunbeam Rapier was built over several series. The Sunbeam Rapier Series 1 was generally well received by motoring journalists. Available in some attractive two-tone paintwork, typical of the period. It had column shift, leather interior and overdrive as standard. The rapier bodies were manufactured by the Press Steel Company, then transported to Urban Maybury in North London for painting and outfitting. And then again back to route to where the engine and gearbox and drive time were finally installed. This tripe of production continued in Series 4 was introduced. The 1390cc engine was essentially the same as that used in the Hillman Minx, but a higher compression ratio of 8 to 1 instead of 7 to 1. The Stromberg carburetor type DIF 36 different intake and exhaust manifolds. Only 7,477 of this first version of the Sunbeam Rapier were made. Sunbeam Rapier Series 2 was introduced on February 6th, 1958 and was now available as a hardtop coupe and a convertible. The traditional Sunbeam grille was now introduced. The two-tone paintwork on the lower parts of the Series 1 body was not carried over to the new model. The interior within Series 2 differed little from that of the Series 1. The biggest improvement of the Series 2, however, was the new engine. Its displacement was enlarged to 1494cc. Series 2 was discontinued in 1959 after 15,151 examples of both the hardtop and the convertible were made. Introduced in September 1959, the Sunbeam Series 3 was introduced. Groups made some minor changes, most, the interior was most noticeably different with completely redesigned seats and interior trim and upholstery. 1494cc engine now features a new aluminium 8 port cylinder head with increased compression ratio. Series 3 of which 15,368 hardtop and convertibles were built was replaced by the Series 3A in April 1961. Sunbeam Rapier Series 3A this had the 1592cc engine in late 1963 came the new Sunbeam Rapier Series 4. In September 1965, Roots introduced the Sunbeam Rapier Series 5, which looked identical to the Series 4 inside and out, except for the decals on the wings and the deck lid that said 1725. Only 3,759 of these cars were built. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Motorcar History.